Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are on the trail of two mule deer. Finally, after we have been searching and searching fruitlessly, where did they go? No! <laughs> after we have been searching fruitlessly over and over and over again for food for so long now, it seems like we may be about to get very lucky. Come on, I either want to stumble on a beaver or these deer for crying out loud. Where are they? There they are! Let's get them! Finally! <laughs> but welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are on a hunt and extremely hungry with Atlas III and his mate Breeze, the heirs to the Moon Pack, the Dawn Moon Pack, pardon me. Oh, Breeze is really hungry. She is so ready to eat. Don't lose her, Breeze! Okay, gotta catch our breath. Poor Atlas has been just really winded and he's super tired, but we can't let this deer get away. Come on. We have basically been running almost the entire gamut of our territory searching for food. We were trying to find an elk because that would have been a better meal. Please don't cross the river. 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 Okay, out of the out of the water. Out of the water. Thank you very much. Get out of the water. Do not flee across the river for your life. <laughs> oh, curse you, mule deer. <laughs> And it has been so hard to get some meals today. Like, I can't believe how difficult it has been to be able to finally... Ugh, I think Atlas hates the water because he's such a big wolf. It's really hard for him to be able to, like, swim with any speed. This mule deer, I swear. We're gonna try... No, no, no. Go the other way, for crying out loud. Alright, Breeze is behind her. Maybe if we go at this angle, the mule deer will get out of the water. We're so tired. This is ridiculous. Breeze, get her! Get her! Oh my gosh. Do not come towards the water. Oh my gosh. I am not gonna be outsmarted by this deer. We, oh no, the pack affinity is getting really low. We've gotta get back home, you guys. Okay. For the sake of our pups, for the sake of survival, you have got to die, mule deer. Go, 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 And come on, Breeze. Really need your help about now. Okay, we just need to prevent this mule deer from, like, running away too far. Catch our breath. Don't let her go back to the river. Breeze, we're gonna need to, like, get back on the hunt. Alright, go, 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 go. Come on, Breeze, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, Atlas, I don't care. Come on. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe we're fighting so fiercely to try to go ahead and just like get this one mule deer down. It's, we're, it's just been really rough on these two lately. Jeez, all right. Let's howl to mark this carcass, even though it's way far away from home. There, that's so cool. I really love that new feature of being able to go ahead and have that marked down so that our wolves will be able to eat. And it was much, much, much harder than I thought it would be to be able to make it so that Breeze would have enough food. Jeez. Atlas is completely exhausted now. At least this mission to get the food did make it so that we expanded our territory quite a bit into some of the Blood Moon Pack's territory. And we re-strengthened our territory almost all the way down by McBride Lake, which is ridiculous. And we're not as far from our den as I thought. So, whew, we should be able to go ahead and get back in time to really take care of our pups. Look at them. It's still growing so slow, little whisper, but we'll work on that. And let's start the long, looping run home. Phew! I can't believe it's also snowing again. Man, that's ironic. We went so far away in search of, like, food. Couldn't find any elk. Maybe we'll search in a different area next time. And look at all the flowers and these blossoms! And you know what else we didn't find was another bear. It would have been really, really useful if we had bitten the butt of another bear. Let's strengthen up our territory since we're here. There we go. But it would have been really, really useful to strengthen 
uh, or to have been able to bite the butt of another bear, because we only have one bear butt bite left after, well, we have two, so we would only have had one left before Atlas would have completed his lifetime quest of chasing away bears in revenge for the loss of his father, Lark, which I really, really, really still feel strongly for. Lark had one of the most tragic deaths ever last generation, trying so hard to defend all of his pups. That bear just came out of nowhere, and we didn't even notice how weakened Lurk had gotten, because we were so fiercely trying to fight for the life of our little ones. Yeah, Atlas, as much as we want to work on that new quest we have of him being kind of the sheriff to buffer between Crevice Lake slash Blood Moon Pack and Prospect Peak Pack, and if we have more territory than both of them, we can actually create a peaceful buffer, and if we keep more territory than all the other wolf packs, then we can have a peaceful day. Really hard to maintain that. So I like that idea, but he has to finish his first quest of biting the butts of bears. All while keeping his pups alive, of course. Oh, so tired. So hungry. Zafir! Hey, little one! Alright, pups, come eat. You guys weren't too hungry, huh? And you were all being very good and waiting until we got home. Alright, let's do a little bit of playing. Because we need to get the pack affinity way up. A little bit of howling so that the pups won't wander away while we sleep. Whispers eating up. Okay, come on, guys. You've got a cool dad, don't you? Oh, look, and Whispers actually playing with the bear. Okay. So we need to go back and we need to get some of the other things we discovered, like that cooler, because the sooner we do that, the sooner we can offer the pups more potential personality items where they can walk up to the different toys and we'll say that that kind of is related to the personalities that they're developing. Sort of how in some cultures you lay out a bunch of toys for a baby at their naming ceremony or like their one year anniversary uh, of being born. And then whatever the baby ends up playing with is supposed to show you one of the affinities that they have. Which I think is kind of a cute way of... I don't think, like, anybody really, like, follows through on that anymore in modern times, but I think that's a really cute way of, of just trying to, like, see what kind of personality your offspring might develop. And it works really well for us, because it helps us develop more personality for our wolf pack. And look at Whisper! Whisper's having a good time! Whisper and Echo are snuggling. Zephyr seems to be really, like, idolizing his dad, if you ask me because he stays where Atlas is in the last couple times we've been here. Oh, look at these little ones. All right, let's sleep now that the pups are here. And we might have a big nap since everybody should have full stomachs. Look at the family. But Zephyr has been the one to kind of like stick outside the den, even when there's a coyote attack and to kind of try to be peeking and seeing what's going on. All right. Look at how beautiful this is. Ha! I didn't even mean to pick him up! Okay, fine. That's too cute. I will go ahead and have a little picture of that, because that is too cute. Big family photo. Atlas really does care about his pups. I was trying to feed them. Does Breeze actually have- Breeze does not have enough in her stomach to feed them. So let's put down a little more food. And what we need to work on most of all is actually pack affinity. So it gets to be kind of a peaceful day for these guys. Since we have enough to feed the pups, we can just focus on playing with them and howling to get our pack affinity up. There we go. And showing off for them. And then we'll take a nap in a minute here so that in the morning Atlas will be at full energy and even better off to be able to go and work on the strength of the pack. How we doing? <gasps> Look at that! Whisper managed to reach 10 pounds too! Good! They really aren't as far apart as some of the packs sometimes can end up in weight. Just I think Whisper isn't as strong as her other siblings, so she doesn't get quite as much food as often. There we go. Look at the pups play with us! 
Just imagine like what kind of stories of the past packs and of the the legacy and the history that the pups are going to inherit do you think they're learning from Zephyr right now? Because it just seems like such a peaceful night. So far not being bothered by predators. Perhaps because we have made, eh, still need a little bit more space, uh, but we've made a bit of space from the other packs. So it's like we're actually having a little bit of time to ourselves just to be a family. All right, are we almost there, little ones? How we doing? Getting higher on pack affinity. Getting a little snoozy, so I think we'll go ahead and take a nap in a minute. I just don't want to waste the food that we regurgitated, so it's like, all right, everybody, stuff your stomachs. Yeah, look at them. Echo's brought a stick. She seems like she's a little bit of a wanderer, too. All right, good. Let's go ahead and we'll have them rest again for just a little bit so that we can get lots of energy. So far, so good, guys. I'm so happy about that. Huh. And who is that hanging out with mom back there? That's really cute. Whisper. So Whisper's hanging out with her mom, Breeze, which is so cute. Whisper was actually the name I wanted to give Breeze that I didn't because I, I spent too long thinking about, like, which name I should give her. Echo. Echo's playing with... Whisper, where are you going? Hey, you two. Where do you think you're going, huh? Pack Affinity is almost back up to all-time high. Oh, look at that! Some food! Alright, everybody eat up. The puppies are actually very hungry. Yes! And we're crossing into 11 pounds now. Echo is once again trying to wander away. Breeze is on it. Oh, dear. And Prospect Peak just claimed a ton of the territory we had and has made a shove into Crevice Lake. Look at that. It's just like you're trying to hold two people apart from fighting with each other and one of them like reaches over your head to punch the other guy in the face. That's what's going on over here. Ah, all right, we'll need to go ahead and take care of this in just a little bit. And it looks like our pups are doing well. I want them to finish eating first. This time Whisper seems to be getting a lot of strength and like pushing her way past her siblings so that she can have plenty to eat. All right, Zephyr is just about full. I'm going to let him have a few more nibbles. They have good appetites. Sometimes we end up with pups who, like, won't eat. And it can be really, really exhausting. Oh, dear. Really? Okay, okay, I see you. Oh, dear, there's two of them. All right, two of them right here. Are the pups in the... The pups are safe, which means... Oi! It's a Prospect Peak female! How about no? Oh! Oh, jeez. Atlas is really strong. Alright, Breeze is fighting this other one. And, I don't know, maybe... Okay. Man, this wolf is lucky that Atlas is, is not quite fast enough. He's got a lot of bark, but he's not got a lot of... Or he's got a lot of bite, but he doesn't have a lot of speed. However, oh, look at that. It's almost like the male that came with the Prospect Peak Pack is trying to defend this female. But we're definitely not done here. Oh, and Breeze is with us too. Heck. All right, let's see. I kind of want to bite the other one to see what's going on. All right, Prospect Peaks, you guys better get out of here. I kind of want to bite this guy to see who he is. So, yeah, it's a pair of siblings from Prospect Peak Pack. And I'm going to say for the roleplay of it, and if you're not here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. But I'm going to say for the roleplay of it, they were coming back from a raid on the Blood Moon Pack when they managed to, like, get back into our territory and stumble on our den. Which is not really a good thing. Oh, and Bree still wants to chase him, too. So are we gonna land like one more bite? Maybe? Oh, look at that. A pair of very dangerous siblings seems to be sniffing around, my friends. So we need to figure out what we're going to do to keep our pack safe and just how far Atlas is willing to go in order to ensure the survival of his pups. But all right, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for this and... Ah! 
And our pups. Oof, they're just fast enough. Atlas, he, like I said, lots of bite, not so much stamina. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.